unfortunate to drop some points at home, but yeah. fortunate enough to be able to share them and keep a clean sheet. Talk about, um, you know, just the fight that the guys put in tonight to make sure that they could come away with a clean sheet. Yeah, I thought, you know, credit to them. They got a lot of numbers back behind the ball, um, defended well in certain moments of the game. Um, you know, I think it was one of those games where you could see us having the confidence to actually make things work and, and make it happen. It was just that little final touch. We were a little bit flat tonight. Um, but those games are going to happen. They're going to happen. The best thing about it is that you don't lose those games. Um, we create enough chances. That's the good thing, too. We did create a lot of chances in there. So um, it's always going to be a difficult game uh, against this team. And uh, look, at the end of the day, you know, we, we still got to keep on going. We take the point, we go forward. You know, it's uh, sometimes when you're on the road so much and you're playing so many games back to back to back and then all of a sudden you got a little bit more breathing room in between, sometimes there's complacency. You don't want it to creep in. You try to do everything you can, but I, I, I still give our guys credit. They worked hard. Um, 94 plus degrees tonight is difficult. And, um, you know, look, they, the fight was there. It was just that sharpness was missing in the final third. Talking about creating chances and you know missing that last little key bet to find the back of the net, what are some things that you think um, we're missing in those, those sequences? Um, I think I think in wide areas of the field we could have got higher. You know I think away at Richmond we were able to kind of press the game a little bit more with players you know stepping up the line and not just Labo on his own being high. And I think we we didn't do that early enough tonight and then when we did it was a little bit the timing was off so can we step that up the line right away put their fullbacks under a bit more pressure and then we can actually counter from there and go um, so that was a little bit missing and then it was almost like that delivery ball we were looking at it and we hesitated and it gets two three seconds and then you know we find Labo offside you know about six seven times and you know the ball's got to be played in a little bit earlier so you release it one touch and then it puts time, it puts a difficult situation for all the backs because they're trying to come up and keep a high line there. So, you know, and the other thing is just look, can you beat out the first defender? You don't want to be crossing balls into the first defender because then they're in pockets where they can actually counter and go off to go, you know, on the goal. But I, I thought, look, we made, Paul made a big save in the second half, which was great. And uh, two center backs did really well. We were able to get Noah Frankie back. Uh, he's been out since uh, preseason, the first week of preseason. Um, we've got some other injuries to Noah Pilato, who played ex excellent against Richmond, fantastic, so it's hard to lose him. Miles comes in, did a good job. He's been working and training really hard, and we talk about performance culture all the time, and he came in, and he, he, that's his first real, you know, full game that he's been able to compete in. So you got to give guys credit where, where it's due, and, you know, they gave a couple of yellow cards out early to us, and so we had to make some tactical substitutions there when that happens.